I think some people have more faith in witchcraft than in the power of God. And you may say, why do you think so? Okay. I think more than one time, a person or more have told me or said something, I think giving more credit to witchcraft than the power of God. So let's go to Numbers chapter 23 verse 8. And I am not going to go through the whole story, but in essence, I believe a king was trying to get Balaam to curse the nation of Israel. Okay. So how shall I curse? So are you in Numbers 23 verse 8? How shall I curse? whom God hath not cursed. Huh? How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? So, in other words, how can a witch curse whom God hath not cursed? Okay. Or how shall I defy whom the Lord hath not defied? So, why do you have more faith in the witchcraft than the power of God? Now, if you are in sin, okay, you may need to be concerned. But if you are doing right by God, be at peace as much as you can. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Okay. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses, curses, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So once again, if you choose to be disobedient to God, yes, expect a curse. If you plan to be obedient, I mean disobedient to God, perhaps you should not pray against witchcraft. You may get yourself into so much trouble. In times past, there was a witch I would talk to and you may say, Kevin, why in the world would you talk to a witch? Okay. When I first spoke with her, I don't think I knew she was. But as time passed by, maybe in two or three days, I forget, I think something was coming to my thoughts. She is a witch, something like that. And I would ask her, and I think she denied many times. But it continued to come to my thoughts over and over and over again. So I continued to ask her and one day she finally admitted to it. Even then, I think I continued to speak with her. And you may say, I am crazy, I am nuts, 
or whatever you want to think. I was trying to get that woman to change her ways. And she read the Bible with me maybe two times. And I think I tried praying when she was on the phone with me, I think. Either the phone or over the internet. I forget which one. Probably the same thing. One day, I believe she told me something like, on a certain day, something is going to happen to you. As in, I think she was referring to something bad. And I think I prayed against that many times. And that day came, and I think nothing bad happened to me. I think she tried to do other evil things, but I am still here. I think I came across another witch, I think, if I am not mistaken. I am still here. I had a dream. Maybe it is called a night vision. I think as clear as day, I saw a black woman, I think with her hair combed back. And I think she was on her knees praying, but I don't think she was praying to God. And I think she was in like a small hut or something like that. Now, was that woman is or was that woman a witch? I don't know. But I took it as if she was or is a witch. What can a witch do that God can't protect you from? There is a woman and every so often maybe I should not talk about this but I believe she has so much faith in witchcraft. Witchcraft has done this to me, blah, 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 blah. And I believe I asked her, I believe I asked her more than one time, are you serving God? And I think she kind of beats around the bush. In essence, I believe pretty much no, I think. Okay, how can you expect your life to go well if you choose to live contrary to God's rules? Yes, you might can get a car, you might can get a good job, you might can have nice things on this earth, but how can your life go well spiritually and earthly, I think too, if you aren't obeying God's rules. Kevin, I want to disobey God, but I want my life to go extremely well. How is that possible? Can I gauge how well your life is doing based upon how much money you have? Aren't there rich people killing themselves? So, I guess money is not the answer, right? Man. Have more faith in God than in witchcraft. Yes, witches may be able to do this and that, but what can God do? I tried to get that particular witch saved. I don't want that woman to go to hell. Yes, she may have gone through some horrible things in life. Okay. But I don't want that woman to go to hell. Yes, she may have been extremely rude to me, but I still don't want that woman to to go to hell. She may have tried to curse me and do some other things to me. Hey, I am still here. 
So if she did try to harm me, I am still here. So let me stop here. God bless you.